The river's allowed us to share ideas with people. It's allowed us to share our music with people. It's allowed us to share trade and transportation with people. Vicksburg, Mississippi, another river town that grew up as river traffic and steamboats proliferated. The uh, city of Vicksburg, like most towns on our frontier or in our frontier, were, was located on the Mississippi River because it was a highway. It's the way people traveled. The way com commerce was uh, conducted was along the waterways. But there is a, a, a kinship between cities on the river, it seems, and between people on the river. In 1876, in late April, the Mississippi River changed course. It did it in one day. It came down, and instead of going back around, it cut through right here. This left the peninsula across the river. They called it DeSoto Point or DeSoto Island, as we call it. In 1902, the Corps of Engineers took the Yazoo River there and turned it into the old bed. So Vicksburg is back on the river. New Orleans, the city that controls trade between the interior of North America and the rest of the world. In this great port city, Goods are transferred from barges that have made their way down the river onto ocean-going vessels that will carry those goods out to the rest of the world. Because New Orleans is a gateway to the world, it's also a hub for the development and distribution of music and culture. Everybody knows Preservation Hall. It's become a monument to jazz, not just for New Orleans, but for all of America. Jazz is really what New Orleans is all about. A lot of people come here to hear the jazz, to hear New Orleans jazz. And I'm told that they also come here for the, uh, the Creole cuisine. Zydeco, the word itself means snap bean. And the reason the music is called Zydeco is because it's snappy, just like you, a snap bean when you pop it. So that's why they gave it that name, Zydeco. And uh, you know, it's a form of Louisiana music uh, played by the Creoles, the sharecroppers and performers and things like that. And it was their form of entertainment a uh, long time ago after a hard day's work in the field. And when they had problems and things like that, they played Zydeco music. Geography of the Mississippi. The Mississippi still shifts, just like Mark Twain wrote about. The sandbars uh, go back and forth, change around. But I think basically, uh, in a river man's mind, uh, the adventure is uh, what's coming around that next bend, what's going to be the next day, uh, where are you going to be, do you going to have fog that night, uh, you're going to get stuck on a sandbar, or, or uh, any number of variables that can come up with the mighty Mississippi. You know, that river run from the Gulf of Mexico to God knows where else. You know, it never stops running, it's restless. And if you go out there on any given day and just stand out and watch that river, it's restless. It's got a story to tell. You can hear it crying out, it's got something to say, but you got to keep up with it. It don't tarry long. The river is really one of the backbone structures of American history. Uh, uh, 
America wouldn't be the same without the Mississippi River and the way it developed. When you're looking at that water, you realize it's topsoil from Kentucky and it's, a, it's tree branches and bark from Montana. I mean, all of this is coming from both sides of the country in the Mississippi. So when you look at the, the water that's brushing into the Gulf of Mexico, you realize that that's us. Once you ever lived on it and you were part of it, you'll always be part of it. You never will leave the river completely. It gets in your blood, I think. That body of water, that big long river, it's, it's an artery. It's, it's, an, it's an artery of the earth. And it's her blood that flows down that, down the center of Turtle Island, where United, the United States is. It's uncontrollable. And there's something fascinating about what we can't control. You know, uh, it's kind of like a cat. <laughs> you can pet it and you can nurture it, but you're never in charge of it. And the old river is the same way. The river holds a special place to all of us. It makes this part of the country a special and unique world that's mixed land, the Delta land, with the Mississippi River. It's allowed us to grow music. It's allowed us to grow crops. It's allowed us to transport those crops and people up and down the river. We wouldn't be a country without the Mississippi. We'd be a whole different entity. It's hard to imagine. It would just be desert all the way from, um, you know, the west bank of the river, really all the way out to the California coast. So uh, it's inconceivable. Without the Mississippi, you really don't have a modern America. The Mississippi River one of the world's great rivers flowing through the heart of America. The power of the river.